Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to my video featuring the Stoger S4000E 22 caliber pellet rifle. I took it out to the creek for some fun. I've owned this rifle for several months now. People asked me, how is it holding up? Do you still use it? Absolutely. Absolutely, I still use it. This video is for those who might be considering purchasing this rifle. It is a brake barrel to load it. You have to pull the barrel like so. It is easy to operate. That exposes the breech. Today we will be shooting Hypermax alloy pellets, 22 caliber. This is how to load it. Take the pellet, push it in, head first like so. Then you will straighten the barrel. It has an automatic safety. All right, you have to push that forward to make it ready to fire. Speaking of firing, All right, time for the spam test. This is uh, when I first got the rifle, I tested the penetration abilities. Boom, that is the entrance wound. That is the exit wound. So shot through the tin and straight through the meat as well. Effective for small game. This has fiber optic sights. There you see the adjustable rear sight. It has a top rail for the mounting of a scope. It has an integrated cheek rest, a rubber recoil pad, an adjustable trigger, and what they call the S3 noise suppressing barrel. Now Stoger is actually owned by Benelli, which in turn is owned by Beretta, the famous Italian firearms company. This rifle will run you about $150 right now. There are other versions in different colors. There is a wood version, and some of them do come with a scope for a little bit more money. Now in the USA, in most states, you can purchase this rifle legally on Amazon. I wish it were that simple to buy real firearms in the USA, but underneath the video I will include useful links for your convenience if you want to check out the stats or buy one of these. When I'm considering purchasing a rifle, I like to uh, see a regular person take it outside and have some fun with it. So let's roll in some usage footage, then we'll come back for final thoughts. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. So, final thoughts. What do you need to know about this Stoger? Overall, it's very well made, fairly powerful, definitely can take some small game. The sights are accurate at short range. That day, I was also testing out some knives. That's a Boker Plus Strike and QSP Penguins. If you like all kinds of outdoor gear, knife reviews, air rifles, 
folders, fixed blades, tomahawks, swords, machetes, multi-tools, flashlights, subscribe to my channel. All right, but back to this Stoger. Check out the creek, the beauty of nature, as we discuss this. Yeah, it'll definitely take out your small game like rats, squirrels, small birds, things like that. However, theoretically it could kill larger things, raccoon, coyote, but for those larger critters, I would actually prefer my one of my 30 cows because I just prefer overkill in those situations. They listed the FPS as 1,000 feet per second with alloy pellets, which is what we were shooting, or 800 feet per second with lead. But I never trust stats. I always do the spam test to assure myself that it could go through a hunk of meat. Overall, I do feel that this air rifle is worth the relatively low price that I paid, so I do recommend it. Just very useful all around, definitely. Mine has held up well so far, and I'm still enjoying it. Check out the links below the video for your convenience. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Air Rifles. I'm out.